Are you thinking about competing in a underwater photography or videography competition? Well, in today's video, I wanna look at the three benefits you'll get out of competing in such a competition, and I'll share with you the next big international competition that is on the agenda. Coming up. Hey there scuba diving community, I hope you're all doing well, it's great to see you back here on the channel. Now if you've been following this channel for any given amount of time, you probably know that I am a big fan of underwater photography and videography competitions. I love competing um, in these events and I think that they are a great tool to help you improve with your, um, with your craft and get better at underwater photography or videography respectively, depending on what your focus is on. Now, in today's video, I want to share with you the three benefits that I personally think you're going to get out of competing in such an event. And I also want to let you know about the next big international competition in underwater photography, which is actually going to take place in Croatia on the island of Raab at the end of May. Now, without any further ado, let's get into the first benefit that you'll get from competing in such an event. Underwater photography and videography competitions do normally take place in places that have really good diving. And the island of Raab is no exception there. So that's your first benefit there already. By signing up to a underwater photography or videography competition, you'll get kind of an excuse to travel to all these places and go and dive in all these amazing places. Not like we really needed an excuse, but it's good to have one anyways. The second benefit that you get from competing in these events is that you're gonna meet a bunch of like-minded people. There's gonna be a lot of other underwater photographers and videographers, people that are just as keen as yourself on capturing the most amazing photos or videos while being underwater. You can learn a lot from these people. Um, oftentimes there is friendships built during these events that last pretty much for a lifetime and you might even end up vacationing with some of these people somewhere around the globe and meeting up again and going for a dive trip together. So that's a really cool thing and as I said you can also learn a lot from each other by teaching each other different techniques that one has already mastered and the other one might not have. Obviously, this is not something that's gonna happen with everyone you meet in these competitions. Some of the people will be a little more competitive and might not really be um, as open to sharing their secrets as others. But there's always gonna be people that you connect on a sort of um, higher level and that will be very open to share their secrets and their techniques, how they capture a certain shot um, without hesitation. So that's definitely a good thing and it's gonna be pushing your ability of taking good underwater photos or videos by quite a bit. And last but not least, benefit number three that should not be forgotten is that competing at one of these events will push your boundaries in what you have done so far when it comes to underwater photography or videography respectively. Um, seeing what other people do will inspire you to work on your own abilities, to get better, to think differently, to think more creatively in what you can or how you can capture a certain scene or an object in your underwater photos or videos. So it's actually gonna make you a better underwater photographer or videographer by competing in these events, immersing yourself completely in the topic of underwater photography or videography, and just being in that, in that, well, it's not 
kind of like a bubble, but being in that environment and really living that for a certain amount of time. So I strongly believe that competing on a regular basis in these events will really make you a better underwater photographer or videographer, whichever way you put your focus on. So now that you know the three top benefits, in my opinion, that you'll get by competing in such an underwater photography or videography competition, I'll invite you to join in on the Maris Underwater Photo Marathon Cup 2022 that is taking place on the island of Rab in Croatia from the 27th to the 29th of May. This time it is actually only an underwater photography competition. There is no video category in this year's competition. Um, I will be there nevertheless because I was invited by Damir, a good friend of mine who's actually the organizer of the competition to come and film the event, sort of similar to what we have done during the World Championship in Porto Santo. So I will be there even a couple of days earlier. I'm really looking forward to going back to Croatia, which is actually the country that I'm originally from. My parents emigrated from Croatia to Switzerland in the late 60s. I was born and raised here, just for those of you who don't know my backstory there. So it is actually um, something quite special for me to go back to Croatia. And I haven't dived there in quite some time, in actually something like six or seven years. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to capturing the event and everything that's gonna be happening around the event for Damir and the rest of the Maris Underwater Photo Marathon crew. Thank you, uh, Damir, again for the invitation and uh, well, the chance to capture that event for all of you guys there. And I hope to see as many familiar faces there as possible and maybe even some of you guys watching this video now. I'll link the um, information to the competition down in the video description below, so feel free to go and check it out. You still got a little bit of time to sign up for the competition. If you haven't been to Croatia, it's definitely worth a trip. Um, and even if you have been to Croatia, well, then you know it is worth a returning trip for sure. And on a completely different note, I also want to quickly mention that we still have a couple of spots available for our underwater videography workshop on Bonaire Island, um, taking place from April the 30th all the way to May the 7th. I'll put a link down in the video description below to the landing page with all the information to the workshop. Feel free to go and check that out. And last but not least, if you do want to prepare yourself for the next underwater videography competition that you're taking part in, consider signing up to my online underwater videography course, Learn to Film Underwater. The link will be down in the video description below. Right now, it is available at a discounted price of 99 euro instead of the regular 249. Go and have a look and maybe that's something that interests you. All right, all right, enough self-promotion for this week. Let me know down in the comment section below whether or not you have been competing in any underwater photography or videography competitions recently. And also let me know if you have any other questions about, for example, the preparation to a competition or anything along those lines. I'll be more than happy to get back to you as quickly as I can. So thank you very much for watching and if this video was entertaining, useful or beneficial in any way to you, please do hit that like button letting me know that that was the case and also consider subscribing to the channel so you're not missing out on any future content that will be uploaded here. Until next time, happy bubbles, have fun capturing your amazing underwater adventures and I will see you next week.